I have a voltage follower circuit here set up according to the directions in the um, third pre-lab and I have connected that op amp device to my National Instruments MIDAC system and I also have the MIDAC system configured as an ammeter down here at the bottom. Um, in this configuration we are using the analog output channel 0 and we're going to feed that analog output voltage into this op amp. The reason that we need to do that is that the um, National Instruments MIDAC system for the analog output provides a maximum of 2 milliamps of current. For uh, generating current and voltage curves we're probably going to need for most devices a little more than 2 milliamps so that we can get a number of points um, along the curve and get a, get a broad enough view of what's happening with the device. So the op amp, by feeding this into the voltage follower op amp, the op amp is going to get its power from the power supply, the plus and minus 15 volt power supply on the National Instruments MIDAC device. The power supply from the MIDAC device can provide um, more power than or more current than 2 milliamps and therefore what that's going to do is the um, current that's provided by this power supply will also feed through this chip so we can take the um, the voltage that we have and even though it'll be limited to 2, two milliamps um, from the from the MIDAC device output there will be a lot more current that's available from the um, the op amp um, chip or from the uh, from the setup that we have. Uh, we're going to talk more about op amps and how they operate and work uh, later on in the class but basically this is just so that we can get a little bit more current out of the device. Okay so essentially uh, we're going to set um, set our input voltage uh, using the analog or we're going to change the input voltage into the component that's under test. In this case we have a green LED that we're testing out. Um, and we're going to change the voltage to it by using this analog output. What we're also going to do is we're going to um, measure the current that passes through the device um, using our ammeter that's built into the MIDAC device. And then also we're going to measure, uh, we, can, we can also confirm the uh, voltage that exists across the device by using the analog input channels. To make my current voltage curve measurements, I could build a special um, device or virtual instrument using LabVIEW. But right now I'm going to go ahead and use the instruments and apps that are available to us through the NI Elvis um, instrument launcher. And the two programs that I'm going to rely on, I'm going to use the digital multimeter. So I'll go ahead and launch that. As well as the DC level. And once I have those, I'm going to minimize that, uh, the instrument launcher. And I'm going to set up my um, two programs, my DC level output and my multimeter for the way that we needed to be set up for this current and voltage measurement. So I'm going to um, use the DC level output to supply a known voltage to the device that's under test. In this case it's the green LED. Um, so I can change the DC level values. The thing that we need to look at is we need to look at the channel settings. Based on the connection diagram that was in the pre-lab you should have the output uh, channel be AO1 or analog output channel 1. Uh, I think it defaults to AO0 uh, so you'll want to change that, make sure that the channel setting is 1. And then we can move the slider or we can enter the desired voltage that we want to apply across the device um, by actually entering a value into this text box right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a value of 2 in there, 2 volts, just for the fun of it right now. And I will say start. So now 2 volts of output should be coming from the device. I also want to measure the current that is being um, provided uh, or the current that is passing through the device when it's being provided with two volts of uh, potential across it. 
So I'm going to set up my multimeter so that it acts as an ammeter, a DC ammeter. I'm going to again make sure that my plugs are configured in the two ports uh, as, they, uh, as they're indicated in this diagram right here. Um, right now I'm going to let it auto range. Uh, actually no, um, because I know it's going to be measuring a small current, let's, uh, let's set it on the 20 milliamp range right now. Um, and everything should be good to go. We'll make sure that the acquisition mode is run continuously and then I'll push the run button and then I'm going to bounce over to the circuit so we can see how it how it operates. I still need to connect my uh, multimeter leads to complete this circuit um, and actually be able to measure the current that's passing through the device. So I'm going to go ahead and click run here and now I need to connect my ammeter. Remember that an ammeter acts like a wire, so to complete the circuit and measure the current that is actually moving through the device, I'm going to have to locate the ground and place my lead on the ground, the analog ground, as well as complete the circuit here. And when I do that, if I make good contact, you'll see that the LED lights up. So at about 2 volts, the LED is going to light up, and that indicates that we do have current passing through the circuit. So now I can go back to my um, MyDAC measurement screen, and we'll see that when I complete the circuit, I get a measurement, as long as I have a good connection, I get a measurement of about 8.6 to 8.7 milliamps of current passing through that LED when I supply 2 volts across it. So now what I can do is I can go and make some more measurements by changing the voltage that I'm applying across that LED. So I'm going to come back to my DC level output and I'm going to decrease the value, the voltage across it, to say 1.5. I'll hit return or enter and that will adjust the output value and now again I will connect my ammeter to the circuit so that I can measure the current passing through it. And at 1.5 volts, I don't get much of a reading. Let me make sh let me make sure I'm making a good connection. Okay, so right now it's not picking up on any current passing through the circuit. And I will double check by putting this back up to 2 volts of output. And I do have some current passing through at that point in time. This is expected behavior for a diode, as you will see when you're mapping out the current and voltage curve. As I increase the voltage, if I go to 2.1, we can make another measurement. Right, and we see that the uh, current passing through it increases uh, fairly significantly with just a small increase in the voltage across it. Okay. So this, you can repeat this process for um, all of the diodes that are the, the diodes that you were asked to um, look at uh, prior to lab uh, by changing the voltage that's applied across it and measuring the current that's passing through the entire circuit. From those data points then you can generate uh, the current versus voltage plot that is the characteristic for that component.